What what is up, principles of food prep? Man, it was good to see y'all a little bit last week. Um, even though most of y'all didn't have y'all video cameras on or anything like that, it was just kind of good just to uh, hear some of your voices and things like that. So, um, you know, as we're moving forward, hey, 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 not time to go to the bathroom. Sit down, sit down. I got some stuff I gotta get through, and then you can go to the bathroom. Hey, you, hey, stop eating chips. You know, don't want to get ants on my floor. And hey, keep it down, keep it down. Good. I can get in my lesson now. Okay, so we have a couple of uh, housekeeping things, stuff that I want to make sure you go over as we go into this uh, last uh, stretch here because we got a, quite a few things going on, but I want to make sure that we get to it, okay? Hopefully, y'all can read what's on the board, but I'm going to walk you through it either way. Number one at the top here is attendance. Please continue to, doing what you're doing, you know, with attendance and things like that, checking in, saying, hey, chef, I'm here. If you know you're not, get on it, all right? Check in. Let me know you're around, okay? So that way I can know that you're keeping up with what's going on. Number two, assignments. Last week, I didn't assign y'all anything but the rubric for the final, which we will get to in a second. But last week was hopefully a catch-up week. Many of you took advantage of it. Many of you did not. My advice is get caught up, okay? Remember, I've reached out to several of you, and y'all have heard my wonderful voice, or people who called home hearing their wonderful voices going over with you what you may have missed, okay? You need to get on it, okay? This is stuff that's going to benefit you down the road. Hey, hey, keep it down. Keep it down over there. Yeah, okay. You, shh, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, thirdly, projects. Now, I've been running into a load of problems with some of you who have not turned in your project, and the in response to me is, oh, I gave it to so-and-so, and they have everything. Well, you got a couple options. One, you get a hold of so-and-so or the so-and-sos, who have it and y'all get together and something gets sent to me or do what I told you to do in the first place and that is keep up with something and then you can turn it into me. Remember, if I get nothing for your um, project, it's a zero. It is. So you need to get on it, talk with them, give me something. I got to see something. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, for six weeks, we worked on this project. Multiple days I gave you. So remember, if you're looking for mercy to come and talk to me about, you know, why you haven't completed it or why nothing's been turned in, you're probably not going to find any. So my advice is get me something and get it turned in ASAP, okay? Now, moving on, the final, as I just spoke about, the final is in focus right now. Remember, as you review it, you let me know that you reviewed it. It's a free 25 points, people. Not that hard. All you got to do is say, Chef, I bet I read it. And then I give you a grade for it, all right? Remember, I sit in front of my computer for eight hours every day with not a lot to do, okay? So I have nothing better to do with my time than grade, do attendance, and talk to you guys through chats, all right? So please get on it. Please review it and stuff like that. Remember, I will not accept them early. If you send it to me, I will put it away somewhere in the computer, probably put it in my files and stuff like that. Um, but if for any event that something happens to my computer and I lose whatever, I lose documents or anything like that, you need to hold on to a, co a copy of it. Don't just send it to me and then delete it off your computer for one last thing, okay? Keep it on your computer. Notice the dates. A day, May 20th, B day, May 21st. Again, A day, May 20th, B day, May 21st. That is when I want them. But if you send it to me early, make sure you keep up with a copy. Any event something happens to my computer, and I lose it, it's not my fault. I told y'all to hold on to it. So please remember that, okay? All right, today I want to talk about Middle Eastern food. Um, when we were talking about Morocco uh, with Andrew Zimmer, we're going to kind of go up the coast and off to the uh, right if you're looking at a map. And we're going to be looking at the area of Jerusalem, uh, Palestine, Pakistan, um, you know, all, all along that coast there. Uh, heavy Arabic, very religious. Now, this is going to be an area where religion plays a huge part in their, uh, in their foods. And why? I'm going to get to that in just a second. It is a melting pot, considering it's along the Mediterranean, as we've learned about Mediterranean cuisine. Now you're getting into an area where all these areas have been in heavily influenced. Consider in Jerusalem, you have the Jews, you have Muslims, you have when uh, Turkish invaders, people from Turkey came into the area and took over, made it under rule. The Mongols out from the east over in Asia has come over. 
So a lot of these people brought with them, when they took over this area, their food. So there's three in particular that I would like to uh, discuss today. Number one is hummus. Mm. If any of you have ever uh, tried to eat healthy or anything like that, you've probably seen hummus on... Uh, guys, chill. Let me get my point across. Don't go to the bathroom yet. I ain't done. That's right. You. Sit down. All right. So hummus... It's basically blended up chickpeas with some oil, some garlic, some other seasoning, stuff like that, and you eat it with pita bread. Notice pita bread, all right? Pita does not have yeast in it, which doesn't allow it to rise. That's why it becomes a thin cracker. That is based on religion. Several religions in the area do not use yeast because of certain books that were written um, and certain religions that believe that yeast can be a bad thing because it was taught against in certain areas. So understand that... Um, you know, in certain areas, you won't find yeast breads because yeast is down, looked at a down thing. So pita, what we know, is usually what you would eat hummus with. Something to recall. Grape leaves. Mmm, grape leaves. You're probably sitting there thinking, what, what, what the world is a grape leaf? Basically, it's the leaves that come off grape trees. Again, this is one of those economic things. I have grapes growing, and I have leaves off the grape tree that actually does have a little bit of flavoring. What you do is many of them take these grape leaves, um, put lamb, which we're fixing to get to, lamb, seasonings, rice, and stuff like that, wrap it up, and steam it. Steam it. Yes, steam it. It's actually pretty good. I've had it a handful of times, and uh, it's you know very healthy, very healthy eating uh, in other parts of the world, where, which we'll get to in another time and another place. And then lastly, shawarma. Shawarma. Shawarma is actually lamb, and what it is is it's done on this big spit, and it's on this cone, on the skewer with this cone, and you basically, as this turns and cooks against the fire, like literally, you have this flame, like uh, straight down, and as it turns, it, the fire hits it, and you basically just shave it off, and you put it in your pita or anything like that. Lamb. Now, because it is heavy uh, religious and stuff like that, they eat a lot of lamb, ram, uh, mutton, and things like that. Beef and pork are not too common. Why? Because, as I spoke about the yeast, certain, um, uh, certain meats are actually spoken against, and so that's why it's a heavy diet of lamb and uh, ram and things, and things like that. So, again, this is one of those areas that it does have economical, but heavy religious from different groups that have been into this area. So, I hope you enjoy studying about this and answering questions just as much as um, I've learned. I really wish I could have been in the classroom teaching this lesson. This is actually one of my uh, favorite ones because it is such a melting pot, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Finish hard, finish strong, and we'll see you next time.